Hello and welcome to this new video. Let me take you to a hidden gem in County Kilkenny, one of the few clapper bridges in the county. I recorded the intro on a 360 degree camera because I thought that would be cool, but it turns out I can't actually combine a 360 degree video with the flat video. So I have to leave it at that, but you can still see more than on a regular video in the introduction. It's only for the introduction. Enjoy. Oh dear, that's not looking good. It's in an even worse state than when I last saw it a couple of weeks ago. Ah well, can't be helped. I'm still gonna map it with you. The way we are mapping clapper bridges is not by using any historic tag or anything like that, but using bridge structure. And I have created a new one for clapper bridges using bridge colon structure equals clapper. And I'm just going to show you what the bridge structure page looks like. It explains the physicality of bridges a little bit. One could argue that clapper bridges are a subcategory of beam bridges. As you can see, they're the second example here. They're basically horizontal. I mean, you're always going to be trying to aim for a horizontal crossing. And they have these supports here in the middle. Whereas the other bridges, and I'm not, not an engineer, I can't explain it properly, but a lot of other bridges like arch bridges have different types of support, which is always indicated with these red bits in the schematics here. Um, and because I don't really understand what I'm talking about, I made a drawing of what a clapper bridge works like, and it has the support red here. But if you compare that to a beam construction, it's very similar, but I would argue that a beam bridge nowadays, there's probably a lot of steel construction involved and it's probably also a whole long beam in one go. I don't know exactly if that's true or not. Whereas a clapper bridge is made of often, if it's, if it's wide enough, if it's long enough crossing a wide enough river made of several slabs, you do sometimes get them if they're only across a ditch that it's only one slab and again you might want to argue whether that's a beam construction or a clapper construction but I, I thought that people will probably classify them as clapper bridge because of the material that is used which doesn't really fall into the bridge structure the material because we have material the key material for that but I still think that people would classify bridges like this one as a clapper bridge and when we're going back into the bridge colon structure clapper on the wiki I have there are four examples here that I put in the gallery so there's one so you see it I have big boulders to support it and they have long stones horizontal stones going across and they're not a hundred percent horizontal because they're old and people didn't have the technology to build them and they just used the material that they found they might have made a few adjustments there's one in Germany here and in Scotland it's a little bit different and one in Spain so they're not only to be found in Ireland there are probably some of the oldest constructions of bridges that you can find. It doesn't mean that every one you will find is going to be prehistoric or something, or even medieval, but some of them might well be. And what's also quite common from the ones I've looked at is that you will find a clapper bridge, which is only for people, for pedestrians, and maybe sheep. I don't know how how afraid sheep are of these but horses don't like to go over them and often you find a ford right next to the clapper bridge that would have been used for horses um, on the hunt or just people on horseback you know going from a to b without hunting and also for horse-drawn carriages so they would have used 
the fort because you still don't get your feet wet because when you're on horseback your feet are higher up and when you're going on foot you know you have to touch the water with your feet and you don't want to do that so people build clapper bridges to have a somewhat dry crossing and I would think I would expect them a lot in Ireland along mass paths if they still survive if they haven't been demolished because people don't use the mass path anymore and also in the vicinity of holy wells I mean there is a little bit of an overlap between mass paths and walking to a holy well but I would think that that could be quite common I only know of before I looked into this I only know knew about three examples in County Kilkenny the Greek Namana one which is the obvious one and then one in Freshford, which I put on the German wiki page, I think. Here. So it's a bit more elaborate. It has more of a wall on either side to protect people. and But you can see that these are irregular stones, the horizontal stabs, and there there's one pier in the middle. I don't know how old it is. I'm not quite sure if it's on the Historic Environment Viewer, but a friend of mine told me about this one and it's known in the village as the Clapper Bridge. They have a couple more bridges but this is the Clapper Bridge and you can see that this was taken in a very hot summer and there's not a drop in sight in the little stream and there's a little stile here on the side. It's an interesting place. And the other one is near Kells in County Kilkenny, near the Priory of Kells. It's actually closer to Kilwee probably and it's just one slab going across a ditch. I'll try to find it. Kells. Here is the Holy Well is Tabor Breeder. And there's a little, I think there's a ditch here. And a one slab clapper bridge, which you could classify as a beam construction, but because it's made of a slab, it's not very consistent. But I would classify that as a clapper bridge also. I just wanted to get the number of clapper bridges up, to be honest. Um, let's map the one in Grigna Mana. have to find it again. And the river in Grigna Mana is the Dushk River, which is uh, Dof Ishke, the Black Water, which is a way more common name for rivers in Ireland, Black Water. But in... Grignamana, they kept the Irish version of it. And it is this one here. And there is a holy well nearby. Just across, it's not very well kept. But there's a holy well, so people might have gone the way I came in the introduction to get their fresh water supply there, because the first official public drinking well is this one here which was only built in 1899 and people must have gotten their water somewhere before that so they might have used the ladies well for that anyway um i have already partly mapped it so i have one line here this is where the stones are still intact and you can actually use it as a bridge and this bit here is where it's collapsed and i've added the end date with a source, which is uh, an article in the Kilkenny People from, I think, August 2012, where they were already lamenting that it was collapsed and nothing has changed since. Uh, it's 12 years ago. Anyway, let's click on this one here. So it's defined as a highway path. I could probably define that as a footway as well. Let's just change that to footway. It's defined as a bridge using bridge equals yes and layer one and what I've also done is bridge type clapper bridge I don't know I probably didn't know about the structure before that so I'm just going to change that to bridge structure and then we don't need the bridge part just the clapper and just to show you that once you've typed in bridge colon structure and type in cl clapper automatic already comes up because there are 46 mapped and I think around it needs about 10 mapped and then the next day the idea editor has learned it and you can use that value already and 
I must have images of it somewhere. I think um, category Clapper Bridge Grigna Manor. Yeah. And I'll just use the whole category. So we have three pictures in there already going back here. Wikimedia Commons. And I'll just paste that there. And you see it's also part of the Great Namana Heritage Trail, which I mapped in previous videos, if you want to have a look at that. And of course, I've also made videos about mass paths and holy wells, and you can also check these out on my channel. This, let's see what I'm telling people to do. and see, uh, material, yes, we can do that, material stone, because I'm no geologist, I can't go any deeper than that. Which is so the the first three are the most important tags bridge equals yes layer equals one and bridge structure clapper and of course you have to define it as a highway if it's still passable and if it's not then you have to use something like was bridge yes or ruined ruined bridge yes or something like that uh, material width I didn't measure it. Heritage, it probably is it's one of the seven clapper bridges that are on the Historic Environment Viewer. Yep, yeah, it's one of the seven. So there are seven entries for clapper bridge on the Historic Environment Viewer um, at the time of this recording. Bear in mind it's the interim version still. And there are quite a few that are, or I, I suspect there are quite a few that are clapper bridges that aren't defined in that category yet. For example, the the longest clapper bridge in Ireland is in County Mayo near Lewisboro, and it's 50 meters long. It's not terribly old, it's post famine, but it's still an interesting bridge. And that is just defined as a bridge. So there might be quite a few lurking within the 600 bridges on the Historic Environment Viewer that are clapper bridges. Anyway, to add the reference would be ref colon ie colon smr. And because it is in that database, it is also heritage. Yes. Probably tree. Category tree. Um, with Heritage Wikidata, I don't think there is one yet. I could have just taken it from here. DSMR number. Wikimedia Commons, we have done Mapillary, I'll add later on. And that's all for this bridge. Added clapper tags. I'll use the hashtag clapper sources survey wikimedia national monument service to upload show you on the satellite imagery you can see this bit here where you can still see the bridge and this is the collapsed bit and in freshford if i wanted to add that one is the one here. There's the Roman Catholic St. Bachelors Church and it's this bridge here. Just gonna go back here so I have the image. So there's the bridge, it doesn't lead anywhere anymore. Um, I presume there was a mass path across this field at some point because of the style and it's very close to the church. It wouldn't be a very old mass path because the church is only uh, 1901. So bridge structure. So even if you type in bridge structure will be one of the things that are already suggested. And then clapper, Wikimedia Commons. At some point I should probably add the width 
because it is actually wide enough, I think, for even horse and carriage, or donkey cart at least. Um, so we do have... Um, I took the camera there, so that's the bridge. So you see you can't go anywhere, should put a no exit there as well. So it doesn't lead really anywhere anymore, but it is a quite a wide bridge for a clapper bridge. That's me there, and there's the church. And that's another picture that I took the year before, I presume. Um, I'm trying to find one where you can actually see the bridge. Yeah, this this should do. Copy link and add mapillary. Paste that and delete everything apart from the number. And save. And it can just use what I've used before. And upload. And when we go into the wiki page again, look at the tag info. So you see it says 46 here because that's only updated like two and three in the morning and it won't have the two that I've just added. And when I run overpass, it should have 48 now as soon as the Freshwood one is shown. taken its time. Well, I'll show you on the historic environment viewer. If you go into the search, you still can't copy any of their data because we still don't have that figured out with the copyright. They would give it to us, but their data is based on Ordnance Survey or what's now Tolch Ireland. Tolch Erin, sorry. And their data is still not open enough for us. So you go into the search at the top there and you choose sites and monuments records. Under monument classes, any of, you can type in CLA, Clapper Bridge, you see that's one of their categories. And then you just hit apply. Oh, it's actually nine. I must have added two since I checked last time. And we have the one in Greek the Manor. There you can see that, that's the only one in Kilkenny, and then quite a few in Cork. This one is in County Limerick. It only says site of Clapper Bridge over the Comog River. So that's not a bridge anymore. And I think the other ones are still surviving. Well, this one, they don't seem to be quite sure. But you see, some of the descriptions say that they're mentioned as FB on earlier Ordnance Survey maps, FB standing for footbridge. Okay, so they have nine um, for the Republic of Ireland and I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven on OpenStreetMap now, but we're getting there. Um, and bear in mind that one of theirs is only a site, it's no longer a clapper bridge. This one is the one in Mayo that I mentioned earlier. And I found an image on wiki comments. So you see it's quite long. And there's the ford. And people walked up there. You wouldn't want to be drunk passing crossing a bridge like that. Oh, there was another picture here on megalithic Ireland. She's a friend of mine. And looks like there's a little less water in the river, maybe. But that's what it looked like from the other side of the river. And there was a whole village here on this side with a church and a school. If you search online for Boonla Hinge Clapper Bridge, you'll find all that history there, which is very interesting. And 
this is how you can map clapper bridges and if you paid attention you can see that there's there are a lot in Dartmoor. It's famous for its clapper bridges and some are really close to each other as well. If, you've, if I've piqued your interest into clapper bridges now, book your next holiday in Dartmoor. So thank you for watching and hopefully you'll find another video on my channel that you will find interesting and inspiring and it will, might help you see things that you never noticed before. Thank you very much for watching and Slangofol!